Uh, good morning, y'all. Let me start this. Uh, wake up. <laughs> uh, God bless y'all. <laughs> uh, y'all keep on taking y'all's time. <clears throat> uh, one day at a time. One day at a time. Little by little. Uh, keep this in mind. Not everything is going to be done for you at one time. All right? You should have this in your mind. If not, put it up there. All right? I know you want stuff to happen just like that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Wait up. Uh, unfortunately, you got to take the good with the bad, my brother or sister. <laughs> uh, because you can't have one without the other. All right? You can't have ups without downs. Fouls without free throws. Daytime without nighttime. You experience this every 24 hours, all right? You got 12 hours a day, and then you got 12 hours a night. Sometimes things are going to be sunny and smooth, and sometimes they are not, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. I know you want to be in the sunshine. Everything going fine. Me too. <laughs> Listen, be a reason for the nighttime, though, all right? I love the fact stars only shine at night. I love that. <laughs> In the darkest hours of your life, you can shine ever so bright, my sister or brother, like a star in the midst midst of the night. If you allow the process to do uh, what God intends for it to do, uh, he will get you to a certain spot. It's not pleasant sometimes, all right? But he wants you to learn how to call on him, how to trust in him, and how to... He wants you to learn how to call on him and ask him to send Jesus Christ to help you, all right? Uh, he wants you to learn to take him at his word. Jesus Jesus Christ is the living word of God. Yeah? And once you're able to do that through the at your lowest moment in life, you hear me? it's easy to talk about God and this and that when stuff going right. It's not the stuff when stuff going wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, God will let you go through some things. The world do you dare from the world, they take you up first and then they drop you down really fast, like that humpy dumpy dude. <laughs> The Lord, he bring you down, and then he lift you up, all right? It's not pleasant sometimes, okay? But it's a reason. Even I go through these things, okay? It's not pleasant. No pain, no gain. You heard a phrase in the gym. Uh, a lot of people want to gain, but they don't want to go through no pain. You must experience some type of pain, okay? But you're going to be all right, my brother, sister. You just keep on breathing. Inhale, exhale. You're going to be fine, all right? Before I keep on talking, all glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven. Lord Jesus and the sweet Holy Spirit, God, to give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Uh, whatever today is, Wednesday, I think. Yeah, Wednesday, April 3, uh, 6.55 a.m., 2024. The best is yet in store. Uh, I like to be up. Or well, still, it ain't too early, but it's still... It ain't too late, but it's still early. I like to be up while most of y'all snore. <laughs> if you ain't get you one of these, you should have got you one before. All right. It's a nice little pack of thing called Knowledge from God. I'm, well, you can't get one now. I, I think I got like 10 copies left, up, but besides that, it's all good. I got more coming out, but that's besides the point. Nice book called Knowledge from God Almighty, uh, Volume 1 by some dude named Devontae Farmer. Whoever he is. Nice book with a nice name. But don't know but replace the Bible. I'm always telling you that. You're never going to get step two without taking step one. Step one, taking God's word, okay? Everything you need, can need, and will need is found in God's word. And in God's word alone, all right? Uh, you don't got to be a rocket scientist. It's all going to begin with God's word. Yeah, God will make his way so simple a little child can understand, all right? Many people, they, they make it complicated. <laughs> they put little philosophies and stuff on it. And, that's where you lose people. I got a thousand stuff I want to get people, but you only need to taste that one. It's that one taking God is work. The rest will come in his time. All right? All right. Truly. Many people, they they don't take that one. They miss that one. They want to get on the mountain and be number. They want to get to the top, but they don't know how to plot that one. If you don't know how to plot that one, you could God will get, he can get you everything. You're going to mess it all up, though, because you don't, not, you don't know how to plot that one. That's to take God as word each and every single day. Jesus said, man, don't live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Right? Yes? No? <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, where are we going to meet on? Uh, yeah, if there's any truth to any books, they're going to point you to the Bible. Okay? All right. It's a lot of stuff I like to read. But if there's any truth in it, they point to the Bible, 
Okay? Where me going to? Me don't know. It's early in the morning. God bless you. I want to get on here. Um, it's a privilege and an honor each and every single day to be able to sit down and spend time with the Lord and be in his word. Just just like hopping in the shower, man. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> word. Uh, feel good on the inside. All right? Where me going to? We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, God bless all of y'all, first of all. Uh, go to Hosea chapter 6. Verse 1, it say, Come, let us return to the Lord. Hey, Jesus said all sins could be forgiven and said blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. You can always return to the Lord. In fact, God waiting on you to come back to him. Uh, no matter how far gone you might think you are. Hosea chapter 6, verse 1, the brother wrote, Come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces. <laughs> Will he not? <laughs> yeah, take you to the woods, shit. He has torn us to pieces. But he will heal us. I love that. God will, will put us through some things. But he also heal us though. Yeah, I love that. Quite often when we get torn up, it's because we've been disobedient. <laughs> we've been rebellious or something. All right. And just like a good parent, if you got a child who's been rebellious, what they gonna they gonna take the belt off. <laughs> or get us get a stench. They're gonna find something and and <laughs> My grandma used to get a switch off the off the the uh the tree outside. I, I remember that man. I was like uh, like twelve or something, eleven or something. But she dang sure say go get one of them, them bushes, the trees or something. One of, one of them used to say that. Where <laughs> y'all know if y'all a little bit I'm thirty, you same age as me. You probably got a tree off the bush too. <laughs> Or the, but anyway, listen, a good parent, they they not there to take it to you when uh when you messing up. Alright? They supposed to. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> he has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us, amen. He has injured us, but he will also bind up our wounds. After two days, on the third day, oh, after two days, he will revive us, amen. On the third day, he will restore us, amen, that we, uh, that we may live in his presence. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge him. That's all the Lord wants. Uh, Proverbs chapter uh, 3, verse 5 through 6, say, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean out on your own understanding and all your ways submit to him. To submit means to acknowledge. Tell God what you got going on. It line up with the rest of this in a little bit. Uh, let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge him. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains, <clears throat> like the spring rains that water the earth. Every time I hear the rain outside, I, I, I just trying to pop up. Hosea chapter 6, verse 6. Uh, Brother Hosea wrote, speaking about the Lord, for I desire mercy, not sacrifice. God don't care about you giving up material things. <laughs> he wants your heart. He wants you to ask him to have mercy on you. That's what he wants, true. And the knowledge of God, rather than burnt offering, God wants you to take note of his existence and to include him and what you got going on. He don't care about the rest of the stuff you got going on. He wants you to be truthful, honest with him, all right? And to acknowledge him. That's it. Many people, they live a life without acknowledging the Lord. But every human being got a hole in their heart that only God can fill. Most people, they trying to fill it on the world or this and that or something. They trying, they, they keep themselves occupied. Rather they drunk, they high, or they they chasing some type of lust or something. <laughs> but truly, only God can fill that missing hole in your heart. Many people, they know this and they feel this. They just don't know how to express themselves. But uh, it's like a want to be love feeling type thing, or want to be uh, wanting to know. It's like you, you, you want to fulfill something. You just don't know how to go about it. But uh, many people, every every human being feel like this, man, whether they admit it or not. Uh, they know it's something missing. You see what I'm saying? Some people are aware. Most people are not aware. But they can feel it, though. And they that's why they try to fit in in many different ways, whatever they're doing, uh, if that make any sense. But... Uh, 
You know, it's 2024, and we live in a messed up place. But I'm glad God said he's going to make it all new, though. You know? Because it's jacked up right now. <laughs> Satan's sin in the world jacked up. All right, so much stuff going on. Uh, I get a kick. Well, I don't get a kick because it ain't funny. Uh, but people be wild, man. <laughs> it's a crazy place. Uh, Isaiah 65, verse 17, the Lord says, See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. I love the fact God said I'm going to make it all new. <laughs> Y'all want to be somewhere new? <laughs> Uh, we need something new, don't we? Because <laughs> this, this uh, stuff down here, man, <laughs> is something else. Uh, the former things will not be remembered, nor, nor will they come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. I love the fact. God said this over 2,000 years ago. I love the fact that in the beginning, <laughs> I told you, you can't get out of Genesis 1. God said, uh, <laughs> Everything the Lord spoke in Genesis 1 is flawless. It's stuff that he spoke in chapter 1 of Genesis that we still waiting to have. God did everything in six days, and on the seventh day, he rested from all his works of creating. Yeah. We're waiting on a new heaven and a new earth. He already made it. Uh, <laughs> if you could bear with me for a sec. Uh, but look. For I will create Jerusalem, Jerusalem to be a delight and its people a joy. I will rejoice over Jerusalem, Jerusalem, and take delight in my people. The sound of weeping and, and of crying will be heard in it no more. <laughs> Never again will there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not live out his years. The one who dies at a hundred will be thought a mere child. The one who fails to reach a hundred Will be, will be considered a curse. They will build houses and dwell in them. They will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. No longer will they build houses and others, and others live in them or plant and others eat. For as, the day, for as the days of a tree, so will the days of my people. So will be the days of my people. Trees live a long time. Uh, my chosen ones, will long enjoy the work of their hands. They will not labor in vain, nor will they eat, nor will they bear children, doomed to misfortune. Why not? For they will be a people blessed by the Lord, they and their descendants with them. Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb will feed together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. And thus will be the serpent's food, and thus will be the serpent's food. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain. Amen. I like that. Lord said he's going to make it all new. You know? Uh, we need that. Because hmm. we're very close to the end. Uh, if you, 2024, you made it this far, you're closer to the playoffs. Hmm. All right. A lot of bull stuff going on, man. Mm. Yeah, we're very, very close to the end. Uh, the end could be 100 years from now, 1,000 years from now, 2,000 years from now, or whatever, from stuff starting all over again. Uh, one day with the Lord, like 1,000 years, all right? Nobody is exactly sure. Uh, when even Jesus said, uh, only the Father know the time and date uh, that he said, all right? But we're very close, though. You can look around and see, man. <laughs> look at <laughs> look at how the world is. Uh, one point in time, things worse than now. Things got to get worse before they get better, all right? And as we progress, stuff get worse. The people destroy themselves. Uh, the more they know, they get creative and they make stuff harmful for themselves. What I'm telling you, like, the people smart, but they very stupid. That make any sense to you? Uh, they create stuff. They create stuff all the time. They destroy themselves. <laughs> but it, that's another story for another day. But we're close to the end, though. All right. Daniel chapter twelve, verse one. It say the end times. 
At that time, Michael, the great prince who protects your people, will arise, will arise. There will be a time of distress uh, such as such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. It's going to be some a chaotic time. Uh, but at that time, your people, everyone whose name uh, is found written in the book will be delivered. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus said uh, in John chapter 10 and Luke chapter 10, Verse 17, I believe. Luke chapter 10, verse 18, Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Hmm? I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. I like that. When you know who God your father is, you do become awake. You do. Once you know who you are and whose you are, you got some type of power. <laughs> when it's impossible to know who God your Father is, know who Jesus Christ is, and to have to claim to have the Holy Spirit and have no power. <laughs> you will have some type of power. Yeah, that's why the people who truly, those who truly follow Jesus, uh, you be on somehow a little bit. You plugged in. <laughs> a lot. You, you a lot of people they got their uh, understanding a little bit off. Jesus never told us to worship him. He told us to follow him. <laughs> All right. uh, God, our father, will accept his worship through Lord Jesus. Same way when you go to the church, you see the people clapping their hands when the pastors speak or that. If you don't know nothing about church, it looks like the people praising the pastor. Nah, they praising God through him because the pastor giving the people the word. Well, Jesus Christ gave the people the word. He is, he is, the, he is living word, first of all. <laughs> word. And God, our Father, will accept our praise of him through Jesus. Yeah. But when you truly follow Jesus or trying to, you got some type of power. You plug in. Clearly, you can you can see this a mile away between people who, who know and who don't know. It's, I see a lot of people go to church all the time. But don't nobody stand out. But it will be certain people who will stand out. You can see some this person different from that person. They, it's a different vibe. You see what I'm saying? Nobody perfect. <laughs> but I'm telling you, they be plugged. They be on. They be on. <laughs> they might got a shortage in their power, their power cord. Because when you worship God your Father and understand He the one, understand He the one you're supposed to worship. Jesus said, uh, "God is a spirit. Those who worship Him, Him, God the Father, uh, worship Him in the spirit and truth." <laughs> Jesus said, "The Father greater than that." Did He not? Uh, anyway. Jesus said, uh, oh, I'm about to say, I get here. <laughs> uh, I love the fact that God has placed a seal of improvement on Jesus. Uh, Jesus is very worthy, highly, uh, highly honorable. And, uh, and truly God has given him authority, which he can give to others. Uh, or at his will, Jesus said, uh, I have given you, and his will is the will of the Father, because they two are one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus is in perfect submission to God the Father. So much that he can say, When you see me, you see my father. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Truly. Uh anything I I love that right there. Listen. Jesus said, uh, I've given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Uh, however, do not rejoice. Excuse me. However, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Hmm? You want to make sure your name wrote down in this book. It was last week, Easter Sunday or something. Hmm. I don't get caught up in the the holidays of the people. You don't see nothing written about Easter in the Bible. All right? Mm -hmm. ain't, the Lord ain't say go buy no eggs and have Easter egg hunt, this and that. You don't see that in the Bible. All right? Mm -hmm. We understand Jesus got up on the third day. Easter won't ain't nowhere in the Bible. Okay? Mm -hmm. But anyway, many people, I'm telling you, many people, they got a hole in their heart that only 
God to feel. And most people, they 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 want to find God at the for the wrong reason, <laughs> at the wrong. You, you see what I'm saying? But listen, they know what they should be doing. They just mm, mm, make it clear. It's always on holidays or some some special day, people try to draw near. But they're doing it in vain a little bit. Uh, Jesus said, uh, these people worship me in vain. Uh, Matthew 17, Matthew 15, verse uh, 8. Jesus said, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Hmm? It's always on a special day people want to talk about the Lord or hmm, or try to this and that or that. It should be every day. Uh, Jesus said, man, don't live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Yeah, he should always be on your mind and your heart. Hmm? The first the first commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Hmm? That should be every day, not just on a holiday. You see what I'm saying? But many people, they, they would come. I'm glad that even... Even if, if it's for the wrong reason, they come to their senses and try to get close to the Lord. You hear me? They know it. They know this. Uh, and that's a good thing. Even if it's for the wrong reason, because they know they where they should be. It ain't just about being in the church. It's about having a relationship with the Lord. Truly, the world would be a different place, man, if the people understood that and had that. <laughs> it wouldn't be. A, it wouldn't be. I'm telling you, man. If the people truly did that, if, if, if those two commandments were really fulfilled out, it'd be a different place, man. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. It won't be nobody in need. Mm -hmm. It will always be somebody showing someone how to carry this out and do this. I'm telling you, it'll be a very different place. What's the lack of love in the world, though? Uh, and people got eyes, man. I'm trying to tell you, mm -hmm. it could be a completely different place. But uh, that's another story for another day. You want your name to be found in this book, mm, all right? Mm, Why not? Forget everything else. Forget having your name on some plaque or having some uh, title in the world, you know, trap or whatever, man. Forget all that crap. That stuff don't mean nothing. <laughs> hey, Boston George, and I, hey, I like these dudes. You see, I, 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 listen, I can't, Frank Lucas, I don't listen. They cool <laughs> or whatever, but at the end of the day, man, <laughs> They ain't do nothing to make money. You see what I'm saying? That stuff here today gone tomorrow. They live a nice lifestyle. This man, that's here today gone. Don't nobody really. Mm, uh, you see what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff people do. People build big, big colleges, uh, big buildings, big a lot of stuff. They leave their name on stuff. Mm, man, you want your name to be felt in the book life, okay? When you close your eyes and die, you got to go somewhere, brother or sis. Mm, rather you believe in this or not. Mm, many people don't believe they're gonna die. Well, death believe in you mm, clearly. Uh, many people, you prepare so much for life, but you're not prepared for death. You got to be. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody want to die. Uh, I don't know nobody who just wants to die. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you, but everybody everybody know that they got to die. All right? Mm -hmm. Many people don't like to think about this. I remember one day I was having this conversation with this girl at the counter factory. <laughs> Little mom was all right. Uh, until she kept talking to him, she kind of threw me off a little bit. I said, she looked nice, but her she hmm, she wasn't too smart. You see what I'm saying? And the average dude, they not, they, don't, they can care less about how smart you is. They they focus on your body. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but listen, man, if I get to talking to you, not, you know what I mean? She still look good or whatever. But hmm, listen, <laughs> bird, uh, I said the short ain't too bright. Uh, but no offense though, because I don't know if she watched me or not. Uh, We was talking. We was talking. She said she liked to, to she liked to debate or something. I said okay. I said what you want to talk about? You said something. I said we'll talk about death. And she said I don't want to talk about that. I said why not? She said I just don't want to talk about. It. I said it's relevant. It's realistic. And it's something that's gonna happen. Many people they don't want to talk about the obvious. They rather talk about some bull crap. You see what I'm saying? Some stuff that don't mean nothing. Uh, How'd I get here? Many people prepare for life. They prepare for life, but they're not prepared to that. 
that's what you should want to be prepared for, all right? Because you got to go somewhere, brother, sis, okay? You can say you don't believe this and that or whatever. Well, <laughs> that's how dumb we is. The people in the past, they specialize in afterlife. <laughs> they they, they, they might have went about things the wrong way. You'll see this quite often with, the, like, the Egyptian culture. They put more time into their burial than they do alive. They, they prepare for this. Y'all see them in old Egyptian chambers and stuff, bro? Like the, they, they bury themselves with everything. They But they all was aware of an afterlife. They went about things the wrong way, but they were prepared. They they was, they was always tried to prepare themselves while they, while they was alive, okay? <laughs> Many people don't give two cents about where they're going. <laughs> All right, that's the last thing on their mind. Get drunk, get high, make money. Mm. You want your name to be found in this book of life. All right, very serious. Uh, at that time, Dan chapter 12, verse 1, Michael, the great prince who protects your people, will, will arise. There will be such a time of distress as... Uh, such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. It's going to be a time on this earth, man, with, with straight hell breaking loose. Hmm. We have not seen this yet. Y'all think we've seen some, there's a whole lot of stuff going on there between a whole lot of bull crap, but it, it ain't hit the fan yet. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. But we're very close, as you can see. Hmm. Man, wait till they start sh shutting stuff down. Do you see what I'm saying? And... The people on top, they prepare, man. They can, they can hop in a spaceship and slide out if they want to and fly. And fly. Uh, what's that dude? Uh, when the bombs was dropping, dude kept flying around on his plane. The president. It was bombs dropping somewhere. Eminem, even, Eminem made a verse about it. Word. I can't think of what what it was with the junk well, I said and I said damn sure did happen but it was a verse Eminem made about somebody when the bombs drop and dude was just flying <laughs> when when the people on earth getting hit the people who up top they got little uh defense stuff that they can defense precautions that they can take <laughs> fly over the earth for a little while until stuff clear or they got holes in the earth where they can uh, underground bunkers and stuff <laughs> they protect somehow some way but they they can't even hide from the Lord though yeah, mm, or that. Uh, that's another story for another day. Uh, but they prepared. <laughs> the majority of people <laughs> ain't even think about this. Uh, I'm telling you. But at that time, uh, your people, everyone whose name is found written in the book, will be delivered. Amen. Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake. Mm -hmm. Some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Like the but you, Daniel, roll up the roll up and seal the words of the scroll until the time of the end. Many will, many will go here and there to increase the knowledge. Then I, Daniel, looked, and there before me stood two others on this bank of the river and one on the opposite bank. One of them uh, said to the man clothed in linen who was, who was above the waters of the river, how long will it be before these astonishing things are fulfilled? The man clothed in linen, who was above the waters of the river, lifted his right hand and his left hand toward heaven, and I heard him say, and I heard him swear by him who lives forever, saying, It will be for a time, times, and half a time. Whatever that means, I don't know. <laughs> when the power of the holy people has been finally broken, when the power of, of the holy people has been finally broken, all these things will be completed. I heard, but I did not understand. I'm right here with you, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel said, I heard, but I did not understand. You know, sometimes God speak. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe this, this man right here, clothing line, it was Jesus. 
and he lifted his right hand and swore by him who lives forever, God the Father, it will be for a time, times, and half a time. <laughs> Whatever that means, I don't. You gotta have you, you gotta have the mind of God to understand what he's talking about. <laughs> there is no one on earth who understands what this time, uh, times, and half a time mean. <laughs> if you understand, if there is anybody on earth who understands this, it's, it has been divinely revealed through the Lord. <laughs> But far as my knowledge, there is nobody. There is nobody who understands this. <laughs> there was a scroll in the book of Revelations. Daniel, uh, John, the Revelator started crying because could nobody open the scroll. <laughs> but the Lamb who was slain was able to open the scroll. That Lamb was Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing now. It's some stuff that God speaks that only He understands. <laughs> right. We he, he can tell us plain and clear. <laughs> But it's beyond our capacity of understanding. <laughs> you hear me? Mm -hmm. I think that's cool. I heard, but I did not understand, Brother Daniel said. I'm right here with you, bro. So I asked, my Lord, what would the outcome of all this be? He replied, go your way, Daniel, because the words are rolled up and sealed until the end of the time. I love the fact it's some stuff that's too much for us to handle. God just said, go your way. Mm -hmm. You just just keep on living your life, man. Mm -hmm. just let your life play out. Mm -hmm. All right? mm -hmm. This going to happen after your lifetime. Mm -hmm. now, God can show you something that freak you out. I'm trying to tell y'all now, man. People don't be understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love the fact that the Lord said, go your way. You just keep on living as you're supposed to be living until... This happens, all right? <laughs> because the words are rolled up and sealed until the time of the end, many will be purif many will be purified, made spotless and refined. But the wicked will continue to be wicked. None of the wicked will understand, but those who are wise will understand. Amen. From the time that the daily sacrifice is abolished, from the time that the daily sacrifice is abolished. This has been done away with. You don't got to sacrifice animals no more as a blood offering, uh, guilt offering, uh, grain offering. Uh, hmm, uh, you, you don't got to do this no more. Jesus, when Jesus went to the cross, all this was done away with. It's people still over in Israel right now and over in Jerusalem and many other different places. They still sacrifice animals. They a lot of different cultures doing it for different other reasons. They worshiping they got a Lord KG or whatever. But many of the old Jewish people they still do some of these things, but they, they don't got to no more. They don't understand. From the time that the daily sacrifice is abolished and the abomination that causes desolation is set up, don't know what this is, but it's, it's going to be some type of abomination that causes desolation. Destruction is set up. Even Jesus said something uh, at the sign of the end times. When you see the abomination that causes desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, it's, it's going to be something abominable. Uh, it could already be here. I don't, I'm, I'm not quite sure. But it causes desolation and it's set up. It's something that the, that's being set up. There will be 1,290 days. Blessed is the one who waits for and reaches the end of the 1,335 days. As for you, as for you, go your, go your way to the end. You will rest and then the end of, and then at the end of the days, you will rise to receive your allotted inheritance. Amen. I like that. Yeah. Uh, see, it's gonna be a day when the Lord comes. It's gonna be a weird day. Mm -hmm. Right. And Zechariah 14, verse 1 say, A day of the Lord is coming, Jerusalem, when your possessions will be plundered and divided up with within your very walls. I will gather all the nations to Jerusalem, to Jerusalem to fight against it. 
this uh, the city will be captured. Hmm. The house was ransacked and the woman raped. Half of the city will go into exile. Is that not what's going on right now? Uh, but the rest of the people will not, will not be taken from the city. Then the Lord will go out and fight against those nations as he fights on a day of battle. On that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, hmm? east of Jerusalem. And the Mount of Olives will be split in two from east to west, forming a great valley with half of the mountain moving north and half moving south. You will flee by my mountain valley, for it will extend to Azel. You will flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of, U of Uzziah, king of Judah. Then the Lord my God will come and all the holy ones with him. A loved one. When God come, he ain't come by himself. He come in deep. <laughs> Why? Uh, on that day, there will be neither sunlight nor cold. <laughs> it's going to be a weird day. Frosty darkness. It will be a, un a unique day. A day known only to the Lord with no distinction between day and night. When evening comes, there will be light. Hmm. When it's supposed to be dark, it's going to be light outside. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I get talking about the, the end times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be first all hell going to break loose. It's going to be a, a lot of pandemonium going on. But the Lord going to come at the very, very end. Word. This gonna be uh <laughs> hopefully I uh I'd like to be alive or whatever, but uh <laughs> I know when he come we, he gonna snatch his people out like like in the twinkling of an eye or whatever. All right. But it's gonna be a lot of uh a lot of weird stuff going on. <laughs> but uh <laughs> many people are gonna be hmm <laughs> people gonna be losing their mind. Uh or not. but the people of God ain't ain't got nothing to be worried about. Word. Because it is what it is. I know that for a fact. Word. Yeah, the people of the Lord ain't got nothing to worry about. Uh, even if you in the world going through the BS, <laughs> you're gonna be all right. Uh the worst thing that, that that we can go through is death and we we got a victory on the other side. Alright. But even in the midst of the BS, uh, God put his he put like an edge around his people. Word. And I like that. All right, mm -hmm. y'all believe in car insurance and house insurance, whatever. You well, you want to have some heaven insurance, okay? <laughs> Word up, nothing like. It. All right, mm -hmm. yeah, cause you dang sure gonna need that. All right, tell you that now. It ain't no guns or mm, this and that that can protect you from the wrath. Uh, when the Lord open up that Pandora box, hey, mm, you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you, people don't people don't even understand the clue. If they did, they'd be taking serious precautions. Uh, I feel, I feel like uh, Joshua. Though people gonna do what they wanna do, but as for me and my household, we gonna serve the Lord. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait up! I'm getting off here. Y'all, God bless y'all. Uh, y'all keep on asking God for the Holy Spirit. He gonna give it to you. It's the Holy Spirit leading you to Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is gonna lead us to be home with our Father in heaven one day and get up out of here. You did. Until then, man, I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. Y'all keep on praying for me, too. Uh, and Y'all stay strong and hold on to the very last day. All right? Like that. That's something you got to do. Uh, ain't nobody going to push you to hang on. You got to hang. You must hang on for yourself. And when you get a hold of the Lord, you hang. You don't let go till he bless you like Jacob. <laughs> Jacob won't let go. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? God blessed him and changed his name, changed his name to Israel. You want to hang on with, with your dead life, okay? Mm -hmm. I love y'all. I'm gone. God bless all of y'all.